Hey everyone, I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I just wanted to pop on because I am making burgers and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make burgers with our amazing Epicure Burger Press, Rainbow Burger Press. So I've had this for a really long time actually. Um, it's, I couldn't even tell you how many years I have it, but it is amazing and it makes the best burgers. Um, so you can, and it comes apart to clean in various pieces. Um, and you can, so it's really easy to clean and put it in the dishwasher. Um, but yeah, so once you're putting your meat in there, you're literally squishing it in and it just makes, you know, you can hand make your burgers, but it's just so much easier when this takes little, so little time to have them nice and perfect and all the same size. So I'm going to show you how to use this, but before I get my hands really dirty, I'm just going to make our, so in my burgers, obviously I use the burger seasoning. Okay, so the burger seasoning tells you, there is general directions. I usually don't follow them just because I like to do my own thing, but it says combine um, one pound of lean ground meat with two tablespoons of the seasoning with some ketchup or barbecue sauce. I don't put ketchup or barbecue sauce in mine personally. I'm not a big ketchup fan anyways. Um, so I use the seasoning. I use a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce, um, some breadcrumbs and an egg. Okay, and then I mix my and I eyeball it, usually a tablespoon or a couple of tablespoons for sure, um, of the seasoning. And then, so for, and then on top of your burgers, you must have the big burger sauce. It's like a Big Mac sauce. It's amazing and delicious. Um, so I'm gonna start using one of my mini prep bowls. So these amazing prep bowls are so great because they have like the little seal. They're so good to put. So I'm gonna make this in advance, um, put it in the fridge for when we actually need to top our burgers and when they're all done. So I'm mixing some mayo. So it does again have instructions on the back. So two tablespoons of the mix with uh, one cup of mayo and two tablespoons of ketchup and one tablespoon of relish. Again, I don't put ketchup in. I literally just mix relish and mayo in mine. And again, I'm usually not, uh, I'm usually just eyeballing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me get my spatula. And where's my little spatula guy? There he is. Okay, so I'm gonna get my so these actually do have measurements. I'm only making half of a cup of this uh, sauce, if that, um, because we don't need the whole the whole cup. These are full cups, and they do have um, um, the measurements along the side of the prep, prep uh, or cups. Okay, so some mayo, some relish, and then a couple of tablespoons of this. And I love. Remember, all the four in one spice spoon fits into all of your jars. Here, let me use this actually let's probably let's mix it around and see yeah I'm gonna put some relish in and then that's probably gonna be good okay I'm just gonna use the other end of this just give it a big hooping, hooping spoon like that and that's it and this is delicious burger sauce um, like a Big Mac sauce so that's it. I'm gonna put the lid on this and then I'm good for my burger sauce. And then I can, if we don't use all this, which we won't probably, we can leave it in this um, container and we will let me just get that, like that. And so this is gonna go in the fridge. Okay, so that's my burger seasoning or my burger sauce. Okay, which, and this is like a must have for sure. If you, so this is the burger seasoning for like beef burgers. If you are more of a chicken fan, the Tuscan chicken burger is a great seasoning for like if you're making chicken burgers or even turkey burgers. Um, so this one is combined um, ground chicken with the seasoning and four minutes patties still using the burger press, right? And then, excuse me, I also want to point out, so I'm going to be making along with my burgers a side salad, a potato salad. So good. So potato salad, whatever types of potatoes, we usually, I put my potatoes in like little chunks and put them in the air fryer so they're a little bit crispy then mix with some mayo and some um, um, mustard, mu whatever, whether it's sweet and sour or the honey mustard, so good. Um, so this says, this is for the dressing. Combine two tablespoons of dressing with uh, mayo and Greek yogurt. So you could do like half and half um, or one or the other, whichever you prefer. And then if you want it to be more of like a vinaigrette, um, you could use um, oil and vinegar with this um, dressing. So, so good. Okay. Let's move on to actually make the burgers. My hands will get a little messy, but that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So like I mentioned, 
I have my ground beef in here. Okay, I'm gonna use an egg. Okay, I'm gonna use some breadcrumbs. I'm really bad for eyeballing it. I just eyeball and I just add as I need. Um, if I if they're too wet, then I use then I add more breadcrumbs. Okay. Do you think? And we make burgers often, like I make them in um, in large amounts and freeze them as well too, um, depending on the uh, how much I have. Okay, so I'm just mixing it all around. Yeah, I'm gonna need more breadcrumbs. So it's super, super easy once we actually get the bread press going. So summer, like summer catalog is one of my favorite Epicure catalogs, his favorite seasons. There's so many amazing um, marinades and like fresh salad ideas and like seasonings for um, just so many amazing things, right? Summer is awesome. And plus like the iced teas that you can make and like the summer drinks. Okay. I'm just gonna rinse, rinse my hands quickly and make a little bit more breadcrumbs in there. show you how to use this press and how super easy it is. Okay. Okay. So I've got my press here. So again, there's this part comes out so that you can pop the burger out. I'll show you how I'm going to, because I'll do it onto a plate here. So let's move some of this stuff. Okay. You can see divide my meat up. Let's see here. How many burgers am I going to get out of this? Maybe put four burgers out of this. So I'm just putting, um, putting my meat in like this. Okay. I'm literally pushing down, twisting a few times, pulling this out. And then when you do this, I'm literally, oh, I'm going to do some oil, put a little bit of oil, just because when we put them on the barbecue, um, and then you're literally popping them down on the plate like that, and this just peels right off. Boom, done. Okay, and then I'll do my next burger. Okay, give it a little twist. Same thing, I put a little bit of oil for on the barbecue, okay, and pop it off. That's it. Super, super easy. And they are nice, perfect. There we go. Okay. There we go. And one more. So super convenient. And like I said, it washes so easy as well too. And like I said, that part is kind of to clean in as well too after. And you can make this, obviously burgers, any type of burgers, right? Ground beef or turkey or any kind of burgers that you want to make. Um, but I've also seen people use it to make um, any kind of sandwich things, like ice cream sandwiches, which are brilliant, right? Um, but there, there you go, there you have it. Okay, my burgers, easy peasy, done. I'm just gonna wash my hands again quickly. Um, and yeah, that was it. So. Again, what is great about the Epicure Summer Catalog is all this kind of summery burger barbecue stuff. Seasonings for, you name it, summer related, you, you'll find it in the catalog. I have the catalog right there, I'm not gonna touch it up. Um, if you have any questions, um, just give me a shout, let me know, and I hope that you all have um, wonderful a wonderful time grilling and barbecuing and t t tasting all these amazing seasonings with your, uh, because you know what, that's what makes food is what makes summer. Well, food is great anytime, but food makes summer even better.
Okay, I hope everyone has. Oh, I'm gonna, I gotta wash my hands first. Uh -huh. Thanks again, bye.